In a predictable turn of events the day before, a publication notably loyal to the Duke and Duchess of Sussex reported that King Charles III has ceased communication with his youngest son, Prince Harry. According to the report, the king does not answer Harry's calls or messages, even when the prince simply wants to inquire about his father's health. Friends of Prince Harry claim that the king is ignoring his son's attempts to reach out. However, it seems that Harry may not fully understand the complexities of his father's position. King Charles III is not a telepath and cannot know the true intentions behind Harry's calls. The king likely suspects that Harry is not just checking in on his health, but is also seeking to discuss his ongoing security concerns. Harry has been vocal about his desire for 24-7 security in the UK, funded by British taxpayers. He wants King Charles III to exert pressure on the Royal and VIP Executive Committee, which decides on security measures for royals, to reinstate his royal-level security. Additionally, Harry wants his American guards to have access to intelligence during their trips to the UK. For those who, like Prince Harry, are not fully aware of the intricacies of royal protocol and security measures, this situation highlights the deep-seated tensions within the royal family. The rift between King Charles III and Prince Harry is a complex web of personal and political dynamics, with both sides grappling with the fallout of Harry and Meghan's decision to step back from their royal duties. The intricate dance of royal security is a delicate balance, tied to the annual sovereign grant funds allocated by the British Treasury to offset the costs of royal duties for working members of the royal family. This responsibility falls squarely on the shoulders of the government, not the monarch. As a hereditary ruler, King Charles III cannot simply issue orders to the elected British government to cater to Prince Harry's security demands. The days of autocratic rule are long gone, replaced by a parliamentary system where the monarch can advise, warn and suggest, but not command. King Charles III has more pressing matters to attend to, including his own health, rather than engaging in what he likely sees as idle chatter with a son who has yet to grasp the nuances of royal privilege. Royal protection is a perk reserved for those actively working for the crown. For instance, Princess Royal and and the Duke and Duchess of Edinburgh receive security only during official duties, managing their private lives without constant police protection. Sources exclusively reveal that Prince Harry's attempts to reach out to his father and brother, Prince William, have been met with silence. His texts, calls, and instant messages go unanswered, highlighting a deep rift within the royal family. A royal insider describes the situation with Prince William as very serious, though not irreparable. Despite the current strain, there remains a glimmer of hope for reconciliation. The tension between Prince Harry and his family underscores the complex dynamics of royal life, where duty, privilege, and personal relationships intertwine. As the drama unfolds, the world watches, waiting to see if the royal family can bridge the divide and find a path forward. For now, the silence from King Charles III and Prince William speaks volumes about the depth of the rift and the challenges that lie ahead.